Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Cretella and this is the very first time I've ever reviewed a game. And yeah, some of you are requesting me to, um, I mean, one of you requested me to do a WarioWare all the games review. And I'm going to try to, um, try to review as far as all as I can in this game. So the very first game I would like to start to review is this one. WarioWare Inc. Mega Party, or... Mega M Micro Game, sorry. It's the names are t mixed up. And this is actually the very first Warrior game that's ever released. Because you I know many of you may uh, some of you may have thought that um the GameCube version was released first, but nope, the Game Boy Advance re was released first. And then later on the like at the end of the same year when it came out, they released the GameCube version of it and they're both are fun to play with it. And not really, well, actually, there is more to say about the, the Game Boy Advance version of um, Wireware Inc. Is that it starts off by typing your name in and select the gender and press OK and you're on your way. So the point of the game is that you have to unlock all, you have to play through all the characters. And then later on, I mean, whenever you complete a character, you unlock a character or the next, you know, mini game that you, that's gonna appear and later on if you wanted to you can um you can go back to it and play all the characters and, until you unlock all the micro games so that when you like when you unlock all the micro games from all of the characters like you know what i mean all the mini games from one character if you like all of them and if you play if you hit all the target scores like it's all like that in the other wireware games too and um, after you hit the target score for all the the, um, the micro games for Wire Inc. Mega Party games, and you unlock like a special character of a mini game, which is a yellow um, a yellow bird, which is which is is actually more intense than the red bird. I can't pronounce the name. Spy uh, Spydro Spyro Joe. I can't pronounce his name, but um, yeah. But you unlock that character, and pretty much that's it. Yeah, and it doesn't sound really like special or anything, but what I love about the games is when you play on the char when you play on each characters, they have like a story behind them. And it's really interesting to watch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The game is really fun and I enjoyed the Game Boy Advance a lot. And now the next game that re was released next, which is Wire Inc. Mega Party Games. This game is one of my favorites. Again, my one of my favorites. And, um, th yeah, this game is almost like the Game Boy Advance version, but same, same micro games, same characters, you know, stuff like that. It's almost like the same thing, but what's kind of different is that the whole game, when you play the game on the GameCube, it's so much different. I mean different. I mean, just take a look at the title screen. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? But that's that's I know you may have been thinking like, "Yep, this is one of these games, huh?" But um, yeah. But besides, despite the weird intros to the games or to the games, I mean, I don't mind them. I don't mind them at all. But yeah, when you play the game again, you start off with the name, gender again, stuff like that. And you're you're on your way, and you first need to get to the purple door. You had to get yeah, like just like in the just like in this ver just like in this version, but it's you had to like play all through all the characters. But what's kind of different compared to the Game Boy Advance when you're going through the characters, you actually play all the micro games of all the characters in one game. I know, right? It's crazy. Like to me. To be fair, this is this one and the other game I'm gonna mention is actually one of my first games I've ever played. That's what made me love the Wireware game so much. And yeah, but um, after you complete, let's call let's call it a story mode, because it's basically like a story for the game. So basically, when you complete a story mode, it's kind of different, like a lot. It's different compared to the ending to the Game Boy Advance, and. And it, and but in the the GameCube version, it introduces all the characters that were awesome. <laughs> and after you are done with the purple door, purple door or story mode, you want like the three modes, which is all mixed up. 
and hard mode and thrilling. That mode is challenging. Because I, I made the videos of when I did the all mix up and hard and thriller and thrilling video. And boy, I did it. I did pretty well. But um, yeah. But basically, oh yeah. And then you also unlock the two other doors, which is the staff credits, which is not too much to do. It's just watching the credits, like you're in the movie theater or something like that. But it's kind of, but it's actually kind of enjoyable because you have to uh, like you're a rocket ship, and then you press A to shoot the rockets to shoot the letter, shoot the letters in it, which is actually pretty cool. And also the next door that you unlock is the pink door, which is score attack. You can either go 20, 40, or 60 games, and it depends on how fast. If you're really, if you beat the game, really, it depends on like it. The game, like the rules, is like, you, um, if you win, if you keep on beating every single micro game, the the, the game, like the next micro game, continues faster. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's but when you fail a micro game, and um, and if you fail, you'll get a speed down, and you don't want that, right? Because if you if you I could imagine if a single I could imagine if a single person on YouTube made all of like all if he won all the micro games without a speed down that would have been crazy what would it be but after you complete all that it shows your high score and stuff like that and yeah and oh yeah by the way fun thing i didn't even notice like because like i just know i just learned this well not learned this but i just found out that um like again i tried again like you, when you complete all when you hit the target score for hit the target score for all of the get micro games on each characters you unlock a special door and this one is really special because like it's so much different because on wire we're like in the game Boy advance you are like um uh, uh, just a media game but in the but in the wire we're in you are like a door which you had to go through all the characters but it's different this time i think all of them are all level three i believe i could be wrong but they're all level three and if you and it and if and it doesn't like speed up or speed down too much, or actually it kind of does, but um, yeah, but um, it starts out with all level three characters, like all of them. I mean all of them. That you have to be a pro in that one. So the like the game, like it depends on how much you beat the micro games. If you if you lost by like a single mistake, then you keep going. You keep going until you get all the way to the end. It is kind of long. It would it. I know, right? But um, it's it's crazy. It it's crazy, and that's all. But oh yeah, fun thing I forgot to mention. This game, wait on. Like you see, like is in the yellow one says get connected with the Game Boy Advance, which you use like um, you use like um. Wait, let me get out. There you go. It says like you can connect this to the Game Boy um cube a game GameCube to the Game Boy Advance, stuff like that, it sounds really cool, so, it's, cause like, cause like, for what you do, it's just like, you, um, connect the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube, and like, you don't insert, not a single game in the Game Boy Advance, and then, I, that wasn't my first time learning it, cause I had no idea what, to, how to use it, but I learned it by myself, I used my brain to know it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, Stuff like that, it's really good. It's really good. I recommend it. I recommend all the WarioWare games. But, I'm not going to say all the WarioWare games are perfect, or not all the games are bad, but that's what I just like to talk about. I mean, so far there's no problems with the WarioWare games so far. I love all of them so far. And now the next game I would love to talk about is WarioWare Twisted. This game... Sadly, was it released in Europe, which is sad because they had to do a lot of testing. Because I know a lot of people. Because I remember um, when I had to like um, when I commented and um, when I had to talk when we all had a discussion about why it wasn't released. And I I know a lot of people were hype about the game. Even the game. I think Warrior Go Warrior Go was released in Europe, which is a good thing because it it uses a gyro a gyro like scope. Which we had like I remember I had a discussion about that, and it's sad that this version this version wasn't released in Europe, sadly. But um oh yeah by the way one of you requested me to do um to do um 
there you go, better view. But mo many of you requested me, oh yeah, one of you requested me to do all the towers. Don't worry, I'll get back to the Warrior Twisted videos. I've been busy lately, but don't worry, this time around is perfect because next week is going to be the holidays and Thanksgiving, which I will celebrate the holidays and also tribute to Stan Lee, which passed away earlier this week, which is really sad and unexpected. I mean, he was off topic, sorry. I don't know why I brought that up. But, yeah, so Wire with Twisted it starts off, but it's so much different. I mean, no, not only because of, the, you know, that character starts off, but it's so weird because on Wire with, I forgot to mention this, on Wire with Ink, because, like, when you're when you're starting off a game where it shows up a title, it has, like, weird different scenes, as you can see here. <laughs> And on Wire War Twisted, on Wire War Twisted is where like when you start off a game, you can actually, cause like I, this is like the first time you ever, well not really the first time, cause there's other games on Wire War, on the Game Boy Advance that you can use a gyro skill for it, like Yoshi's Gravitational, you know, game. That game I remember, I remember seeing it. The game looks pretty good. I might probably plan on plan on getting it. But um, yeah, the title scenes is where you, when you um tilt your Game Boy Advance. And then, fun fact, you probably don't know that when you vibrate it really fast, you can you can actually change the title. I'm not even joking, cause I, cause I don't think I show you. I didn't I didn't show you, <laughs> but you can actually. I think I did actually. I think I did show you the title, the changes. And not only you can change the title, but a title, but you can also knock off the nose, Wario nose off of it. And after you, st when you get off of the title screen, it then shows up like a warning. It shows up like a warning of how to use this a game, which is really helpful, really helpful. And then again, you start off by playing all the characters and unlock, like just like in the Game Boy Advance, the a uh, way where um, my Mega Michael games is where you you had to go back and unlock all the Michael games that it has on there. You had to do that, kind of. It kind of sounds long, but that's okay. And oh yeah, this is this is like one of the first games. No, this is not the first games. But, well, actually, it is actually. But this is actually the first game to ever introduce a character to play a Michael games in, which is Frunk. You guys and girls are familiar with him, because I know most of you are familiar with him from Warrior with Gold. But he's actually the first character to appear in a Warrior game. But not only he first appeared, but he's actually the first character to play a character. Like, because when you go, because when you all play like a micro game of him, it's completely different than others. And it's, I like that. I like how they uh, bring up Frunk. I love how you can play a micro game. That's fun. Stuff like that. And I'm going to be making more videos of Warrior War Twisted because I know most of, because I know, um, not a lot of people uploaded the Wire with Twisted videos. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a good or bad thing. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying like, cause I guess it's, I don't know. I'm just saying cause I feel like not a lot of people have probably got the Wire with Twisted games. I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. That's not just my opinion. And oh yeah, also I forgot to mention cause it's just like this in Wire with Gold too. Where like when you after you beat defeat a boss stage but after you clear a character and then after you clear all after you clear one character like Mona after you clear her like the game like the character like if after you defeat boss stage and then you can actually see like a a capsule machine first time they ever used that not on wire or gold that wasn't the first time they used that but um yeah but you unlock yeah cuz like when you unlock and the weirdest thing is like after you unlock all the um the um, the capsule machine that you unlock all of them is that you get like a telephone number, and it's no, it's not gonna be like you know personal stuff like that. It's just used in the game, you know. But I actually test it out, and it's actually different. It it has like, cause I actually you had to unlock this first. You had to unlock you know the telephone capsule machine first, and then like you unlock the, the phone numbers. And then you like test it out, and then you get like different calls from somebody or just weird noises. It's kind of good, you know. It's good. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just good, you know. And yeah, basically all that. And oh yeah, when you unlock all the micro games and hit the target, I don't know. 
I forgot how does it go, but um, I gotta show you this, like, cause like after you clear all the after you hit all the targets, I believe yeah after you hit all the targets I believe, you unlock like a like when you go to like um, it it shows like you unlock something from it and then it's a Game Boy Advance SP and it's kind of cool. But when you go to there, oh my god, the way it starts. It looks so good, and the funniest part is it goes back. To, it goes back to when you just turn on the game. That is like trippy. That's crazy. I'm not even joking. It did that, and it was funny. And crazy. Besides all of that, Wire War Twist is a really fun game. I recommend it if you don't have this game. And yeah, I love the game. It's really good. It's fun. And yeah. So the next game is Wire War Touched on the Nintendo DS. Now, this game is a really good game. I recommend it. Because, same again, um, you type your, you, you use the Nintendo DS. Actually, fun fact, personally, I used to have a Nintendo DS, but when I found out the Nintendo 3DS was coming out, and it had the same price as the DS, so I, I was thinking of selling, because cause not only, because cause like my father told me, because cause my father thinks that Nintendo 3DS games can't work with the, can't play the Nintendo DS games, and it worked. So, well, actually, we looked up on videos on YouTube about that. If it works, it did work, so... That's the reason why I wanted to get a 3DS. Not because, you know, better graphics and stuff like that. Because not only it plays the 3DS, but the DS games. They also play the DS games. It's so fun. I love them. But, uh, yeah. I used to have a Nintendo DS. I used to play this game a, bunch, a lot. I love this game so much. And, yeah. Again, type in your name. And stuff like that. You And it even introduces new characters again, too. Because, like, this one is different. Because, like... It has Jimmy, like Jimmy, or I should have meant to mention this in Wire with Twisted, where like you also play different characters. Like you can not only play Jimmy, you can play Jimmy Fox, which is crazy. And what I mean by Jimmy, Jimmy Fox means Jimmy's family, you know, stuff like that. You can actually play the, um, the Michael game, like a characters of them. And like, and like, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh yeah, like. On, um, yeah, so in this game, you can actually play one of the kids. You can play Jimmy, um, uh, the, like, you can play, um, uh, the little girl and, um, the dude. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I forgot their names mostly. Because I think, actually, her name was Jimmy, uh, Janie, I think, or Jamie. I don't know. I forgot her name was. And I forgot his name, too. I don't know. I don't know why I keep forgetting these people. I, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting these names. But, yeah, but, um. Same thing, not really too special, not really new, but don't don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's good. I, I love it. I love playing the wireware games. Why not? <laughs> but um, yeah. But like, another thing that I would love to point out is that after you again beat the um, all the characters, you and you unlock the mini games as far like when you when you're going on, like when you're moving on. I meant to say. Because like, what I mean is that when you um when you defeat one character, you unlock a mini game, and it's not only from a capsule. And no, it's not from a capsule machine, just like the last game. But this one is like, you get it from Orbulon. It is from his UFO. Someone throws it at Orbulon and then gives it to us. <laughs> and then you can decide to either move it in the toy room or either move it back in, or move it back outside. With the characters, you know, pretty fun. And yeah, if 
I because I know most of people don't really know, but I mean actually they do know actually. Sorry, but um, cause after cause I know I know most kids probably struggled this when they first played this game, cause they thought they wanted to change back to Wario and Wario Man. Most people probably had that problem, and I actually I don't think I never had that problem actually, cause like when you when you see like a garlic when you're about to enter to Wario Man, and yes he wasn't very he wasn't th this game was not the first he was at Introduce only on uh, Wario Twisted. That was the first game he ever been introduced. I forgot to mention this too. I always forget so many times. But um, you feed if you want him to turn Wario Man, then you feed garlic to Wario, then he turns into Wario Man. But then if you want him to go back to him old to his own, you can give the bomb to him, and then he's back and he's back to normal. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, not really new it's just like again a really good game and it and this is a the first game on the warrior Wars series to ever first show um two screens which is actually really impressive that the very first game to show like two screens of a warrior Wars game that sounds that sounds really fun right there really fun and um yeah and my review of all the games i'm 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 listing them to the least like what came i'm i'm listing to i'm listing uh, listing to the um, the first game of Warrior to come out to the recent one, which is Warrior Gold. Which yeah, that's what I'm I'm doing. I'm reviewing to the games that came out before, and then it came out right now, you know. But next game is Warrior Smooth Moves. This one is one of my. This was actually one of my first games I've ever played. Like, cause like, remember I said that on um, WarioWare Inc. Mega Party games on the GameCube was my first games. This one and WarioWare Smooth Moves is also well, one of my first games I've ever played. This game is kind of a little weird. I mean, not as a bad weird. It's a good weird. It's just like when you first start, when you first like get into the title scene, you can actually move your Wii Remote around. And when you go really fast, you can actually spot it. Like, you can actually pull a warrior's mustache, which is pretty good. And, um, and it starts off by, select, by selecting, like, you know. And then also, the first game, I think this is actually one of the first games. Actually, I think it is. One of the first games to ever have multiplayer in this one. Because, like... You you can either have two Wii remotes, you can have more than one Wii remote, or you can have just one Wii remote and take turns with it, which is a really good idea. But um, yeah, first I start off with single player, and not only you select your name, but you can select your me's too. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but that sounds kind of weird to select a meme. I don't know, but it's in the Wii system. What do you expect from games on the Wii? It, it always makes you want to select a Mia. But, um, yeah, other than that, oh, yeah, this game also introduces, like, you know, a Wii Remote, the different system, and also a Nunchuck. But sadly, that, um, sadly, that the only character that you can play the micro game with the Nunchuck is Orbulon. On, the only one. I mean, there's other, there's the other, like, mini game, there's, there's other mini games that ha includes Nunchucks too, but. Orbulon is like the only character that only requires a nunchuck, pretty much. And, yeah, I love this game. This game is one of my first games I've ever played. That made me become a fan of WarioWare. And, like, again, I love this game. I love it a lot. Not really too new. Not really too new. But, no, actually, it is kind of new. Because not only because of the multiplayer, like... The mini games come, uh, not the mini games that you play, but um, what after you defeat a boss stage, like after you clear, after you clear um one person again, like what I said, a warrior twisted. After you clear one character, like Mona or Wario, after you clear that, you keep going till you get your high score. I should have mentioned that, but um, the part is like it shows up like select a pose. I guess I guess what made I guess the reason why they select poses I guess is because to stretch out so you don't pull a muscle. I guess that's a nice thing. I guess that's probably the reason why they did that. Select the pose. I believe they did that just to stretch and like, you know, stretch and take a break for a minute. That's cool. 
That's actually really helpful, actually. Not gonna lie. But, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, that um, all these WarioWare games that I have, I don't have all of them. I only have, like, the only games I do, well, actually, actually, I do not have, let's see, I, I don't have uh, one, two. So far, I only got, so far, I don't have two games, like, you know, like, you know, in real life. You know, I only have, I only have, um, two, well, actually... I actually have three games on my 3DS, but um, yeah, that's all I had to say about Water with Smooth Moves. I love the game; it's one of my favorites and one of my my first, personally, one of my first games I've ever played. But the next one, <laughs> the next one is pretty much one of my least favorite of all the series, which is WarioWare Snaps. I don't think it's the a bad wireware game, but it just has problems. The way you set it up, and this was also on the Nintendo DS games. Not really much to say about this game. It just doesn't have too much new stuff at it, you. But here's my problem with the game. It's like, cause like when you're in a dark room, then you can, cause like you had to like t you had to like set up your 3D. You had to set up your Nintendo DS and then take a picture of your face and your hand, and it's so hard to do it it's so hard to do it because like you had to put it in exact spot because if it's too big or too small then it's not gonna work and worst of all you had to be in a brighter room because if you're in the dark room yeah that's not gonna work and not only that the way you play the Michael games is even worse because the Michael games oh my god like it shows you like you had to go like this or you had to go like this just your head it's just weird really weird and not good and not in a good way and, and the worst of all when you're in a brighter room and then when you're set when you're done setting up your like you know of your head and your hand and then when you're trying to set up like for the for the micro game to come it's just it does it sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it doesn't like does it correctly of what the the thing shows you which is really weird and not even helpful and then when you're taking so long, it shows up like a warning sign, which is so weird. It does that, right? When you take too long to play, to do a pose. I believe so. I could be wrong. But then, like, and then it takes you back to the main menu. That's, like, the dumbest idea to ever make into a wireware game. That's, like, the worst so far. I mean, I do have to say this. Even though the game is bad... I gotta admit, some of the micro games are actually enjoyable to play, even though if even though if not all the like not all the micro games can be perfect in this game, but it does have some enjoyable stuff of how they up tech upgrade their technology further. But it's just this game is just cheap and not really good. I didn't like this one that much, and it was so cheap. You wanna know how cheap this game is? It only has four characters in it. It only has Wario, Jimmy, Mona, and Cat and Anna. But they only have like five or four micro games for each character. Like, that's like the cheapest way to make it make it to a WarioWare game in a D, 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 Nintendo DS. That's like the dumbest. I don't know. That's terrible. But the next game I'm going to be... Re this game is not really much to say about it. It's just not my favorite. I didn't enjoy this game that much. It was not my favorite. But the next game... Is Warrior Diawai on the Nintendo DS and also on the Wii. And um, I do not have the Wii version of the Warrior Diawai, but I, but um, yes, this game is not really new. Well, actually, it is kind of new. It's really new that not only you can play five characters like two char like too short, but you can actually create your own micro game, and that's. Awesome. I love that idea creating your own micro game in this game. That's so fun. I've actually I've actually created the first uh, micro game I've ever created. I've, I've created one and I should I'm gonna have to show you guys and girls. But um, yeah, I created one, and it's may not be the best for most of you because it's my first time making a a micro game. 
on a wireword game. It's fun to make your own micro game. It's fun. And um, yeah. And when you make and when you have a lot of like, like create like your own micro games, you can actually unlock. I think you can actually unlock all the DIY one, two, three, four, five, and shuffle and all of them and all of that crap. You know, and like wow, it's crazy, right? It's really new. It's really different compared to the other ones that you can actually create it. But but both of them are actually different because on the Nintendo DS that the characters that it has on the games like the characters that we all know on the Nintendo DS is Mona, Orbulon, Ninevolt, um, uh, what's that other character's name? It's I know it's Mona, Jimmy T, and Orbulon, and Nine Volt and Ashley, Ashley, I forgot to mention her, sorry. But um, those are the only five characters in the Nintendo DS, but however, in the Wii version, in the, in the Wii version, it has Dribble and Spitz, Cat and Anna, Wario Man, all those other characters. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's almost like, it's almost like Wario or Snap, where it's just like, only has four characters and not all the characters, like from the, that we all loved and we grew up with. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess because they wanted to make room and not make too much of it. But they're, at least they're upgrading the technology a little bit further. They let us create our own micro games. And here's that really weird mode. And it's like the mirror mode. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with it, you have to get a mirror in order to play the game. And I am not even joking or, ma or making this up. You have to get a mirror in order to play the game because if you're not making a using a mirror, then you're pretty much dead. I mean, I try. I've actually tried to do a challenge of of doing the mirror challenge, like a Warrior DIY the mirror challenge on a Nintendo DS. I was I was actually going to do a challenge by doing by playing the mirror version without using a mirror. I was planning on doing it, but yeah, mostly I've been just. It's so hard too. It's so hard when you're playing the mirror vo mirror ver version because not only because it changes the sides, but you get but like when you're using the mirror, it just it changes your hand because you're not used to the other hand too. It's kind of like hard to do when you're first time playing the game. And the next game I'm gonna be um, talking about so in the next game is Game of Wario, which another game I do not have and. Stinks I do not have that game. Well, that was before the Wii U was dead. The console was dead. I forgot what was the reason why the Wii U was... The console was dead. Is it because they didn't make that much money? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, I wasn't a fan of the Wii U that much. Even nowadays, when I found out it was broken because due to Nintendo Switch, that's been doing so well, been doing pretty well. Nintendo Switch is doing pretty well so far. And hopefully not do a flop just like in the Wii U so far. And so this is the game I've never played, but not really much to say because I never played the game. But actually, here's the thing. This is the first game because I know most people who play Warrior Work Gold, which I'm going to mention that game next because this is the final game that came out recently. But on Game & Wario, um, my favorite parts from the game is not only because of 9 volt, 18 volt, like a 9 volt, you play like a, like a, a person is sneaky, like playing the game while... You pretend to go to sleep, but then like, but then your mother wants to you to go to bed, but your kid playing games at night, and do not let her catch you, cause you are dead, and you are you are busted. But in the 18 volt, however, you can it's just like the original games. You can like, it's just like that in the original games. You play all the micro games. Pretty fun. I do not have a Wii U, and I do not have the game. And I apologize that if you want me to do the games, I'm sorry if you don't, I'm sorry. But also, it's got some other, um, it's, the game is a little different. It's got some other characters and other games, mini games to play, which is actually good. I think one of my favorite characters to play in the game of Warriors, not only, I mean, not, well, I mean, the games that I've seen, I mean, not I've played because I never played it. But, um, the game I've seen, my, my favorite parts was it, is that, um, where you can play like the Frunks. You can play like different challenges of Frunks when you launch your Frunk to the points. I actually seen it. It's one of my... I love it so good. Even though if I never played it. But I, I love it. And this is the final game I will review. Which is... 
while you're at Golden, I do not have the game. I have it on my 3DS. And I know most of you guys and girls are familiar with this game because I actually used to um, did the, the gameplay f footage. Of, I actually did the gameplay for the game. And yeah, it was so fun. The story mode is great. And before the game was released, they actually released a demo, which is actually awesome. But actually, in the UK, I believe they released it first before um, before the USA or uh, any other countries was released. But I love how it's got the demo. I love the I love the characters. I love the the game is like one of my favorites. Like again, all the games of WireWare games are all all of my favorites except the WireWare snapped. I didn't enjoy that that much. But on but in WireWare Gold is where like you first start off. It starts off by again selecting the meme, just like just like in Warrior Wars Smooth Moves, where you select a meme, and it's almost like a pass passcode, uh, passport, where you use like a card to identify you as you, you know, stuff like that. I don't know, but um, after that you start off by any other any modes that you would love to start, uh, but it's it's all it's gonna start off with Wario, like, of course, because he's always first and last. But in the last, he turns giant powerful, and like, and this is a remaster to the original games that many of you, many of many of you fans out there, and also me, that grew up with the original games. It's actually a remaster to the original games, which is great. I loved it, and the gameplay was fun. I loved all the modes. I loved the twist. I loved the mash. I loved the. Touch, I love all of them. And even the mic. I forgot to mention this. In Warrior where um Touch, where like the that what's so different about that game is you play Mike, the character, which is actually pretty interesting. And then not only that, you can actually blow to your um blow to your system, like your gaming system in order to play games, which is actually pretty pretty fun. <laughs> even though it's just like cheap, but that's actually fun. I enjoyed it. But um, yeah, you blow into your Nintendo DS system, but in the Nintendo 3DS, you can blow into your system too. Really cool. And yeah, besides, despite all of that stuff, all the you know characters you had to go through all this, but this one is actually going through all the characters, like almost like you're going through a tournament. Almost like you're almost like the whole entire story mode is all about tournament winning and losing. But yeah, I've had fun times. I love playing the gameplay. I love doing the gameplay of that game. Really fun. Oh yeah. Also, I'm gonna be making a video about about like an update about WarioWare um, Gold. I'm gonna make an update because I just uh, found out a couple of days ago that no, like I did not like all the caps the games. Sorry, I just didn't get a, a glass of water. But that that's okay. I I talk so much lately. But um yeah um. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, in Tarantale, because remember in my videos that you think that I lock all the games and micro games, and you may think, like, wait, what? Did the game broke? Or unless it's just sold out, it may happen the other day and it doesn't happen anymore? Well, actually, you had to complete a mission in one of the mini games in, in order to unlock the next um, mini game to unlock, which is actually kind of weird. I thought they were just locked. I thought, I thought it was because you had to hit the targets, but it, did, it didn't work. So yeah, I'm gonna be making other videos, and again, this is um for 300 subscribers um celebration. It's my first ever I've ever reviewed of a gaming video, very first video. I'm sorry if I stumbled so much, and I'm sorry if I took long bre deep breaths. Sorry, this is my first time doing it, and I love doing this. It's so fun to do it, and that's all the Warrior games so far I've played, and and yeah, and loved. Except the Warrior Snap that I didn't enjoy that much. But despite all of that, thank you guys and girls for watching my very first review on all the Warrior games. Which is crazy. Um, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family if you enjoyed the video. Um, my social media are in the description so you can follow me there. And... And I'll see you in the next video. And let me know what you want me uh, also want me to do for a 300 subscribers celebration. Since it's awesome. I mean, one of you requested me to do all the towers from Wire with Twisted, which I will be doing that. Oh, excuse me. I just silent burp. 
Am I done? Okay, good. Okay, so that sorry that was a silent burp. But um I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.